and welcome back to Belmont Bunch. Finally, uh, sorry I've been away. Uh, I'm in the process of moving soon, so I will be um, trying to figure out how to continue doing videos over at my new apartment. Um, I was about to have an Islanders existential crisis until tonight's game, which made me feel a little bit better. Um, but let me immediately take away from our win by saying Rangers were on the second half of a back-to-back -back in which they played a very, very competitive game last night and they didn't play their starting goalie tonight. So take, you know, take the win, of course. Um, but yeah, it's not, you know, it, it, it still means something to get goals out of Paul Mary and Bailey and to get a shutout, even though Elia did a ton of work. Um, but even though it's not like the absolute statement win of beating the Rangers at full strength on full rest, uh, it's still a confidence booster for those guys that I named. Um, for Adam Pellick, who gets an, a great assist on the Bailey goal. Uh, for Elias Roken, who had had kind of a uneven start to the year. I feel like that's the appropriate word. Not bad. Um, uneven. So, uh, Ilya, fantastic tonight. A lot of point-blank saves, uh, especially in the first two periods. I felt like in the third, the Islanders were able to lock it down a little bit. Um, yeah. So, that's, I mean, that's pretty much all I wanted to say about tonight's game. I do want to talk a little, oh, actually, you know, a little bit of credit as well. Um, I noticed Bo tonight skating a little better and Brock skating a little bit better tonight. Those guys looked like they could have scored. Um, so, that, that that's good news. So, um but uh, to recap uh, a little bit, all in one, the last few games, which had not gone very well, which started with the Devils game, in which the Islanders just got run out of their own building. Uh, still very concerned about the speed of the Islanders, or lack thereof, versus a team, a young team like the Devils, that, you know, <laughs> up and coming, but for years. And it maybe it's finally getting there. Yes, Bur uh, brought uh, awesome player, Jack Hughes. The speed was just too much for the Islanders, and uh, that was a very, very worrying game. Uh, the Islanders looked ooh, very old in that game, and like they're an old team. They looked older than they even are. Um, what else? We had Tampa. We had Florida. Uh, not good. Um, you know, they could have won the Tampa game. Ilya, that was probably, you know, he was not great in that game, Ilya. The Islanders, every single mistake was punished. You have to expect that out of a, a team like Tampa with the quality they have, even though they haven't been off to the best start. Um, keep in mind, Tampa has the same record as us now at 3-4, and four, although they play tonight, so that could be out of date immediately. But, um, yeah, not a great game. The Florida game, it, it, it's interesting because, like, I don't feel like the Islanders played very well in either of those games, and they could have won both. So there's kind of a glass half full type thing for that. Uh, Kiefer Bellows question mark because uh, put on waivers today. Um, and while I am a little bit like, oh, could have waived Sh Sh Sashnikov, who had a terrible giveaway that led to a back-breaking goal in the Tampa game. Could have waived Johnston, who no one is going to pick up on waivers. And if they do, that's fine. Um, but at this point, Bellows just hasn't shown anything. So it's not enough to like him getting waived. It's not enough for me to get it's whatever it's just another thing and it's not a huge thing either um so yeah that's with that uh wally wally's been you know the better one obviously and the islanders you know more recent draft pick they've more invested in him still uh bellows what's it been like six years i think we know what we have at this point and uh yeah that's pretty much that's pretty much all i got it was a bad pinch by Dobson tonight that got smothered by, I think it was, wouldn't have been Pollock because it's another. Um, Bailey got back on that play. I don't know who the other defenseman was on that. That helped. Oh, Rom uh, Romanov. Romanov uh, with a nice block on that play uh, in the second period. So, um, yeah. Um, oh, I guess very quickly about the goals. Uh, great tip from Bailey. Great pass from Pellick. Uh, and the two Palmieri goals. Um, yeah, I mean, like, does Shesterkin save them? Probably not the third goal. Not the third, uh, you know, Paul Mary's second goal. Uh, the first one, though, uh, Halak looked a little bit deep in his net and um, could have stopped that. But uh, something we want to see more from the Islanders. It isn't necessarily the amount of shots you have, but if you can take those shots when goalies aren't expecting them, the Islanders were able to find their way into the slot a couple times tonight through Paul Mary, and he just let a shot rip. Um, didn't really 
care for he like he didn't even take the time to like pick out a spot he just ripped it on that and the goalie take it off guard um you know better goalies might have a better time with that but uh you know you're only playing against the goal you're playing against that night so uh um gotta try it out gotta get the puck on net so that was nice anyway uh that's all i have for now hopefully things will be normal soon once i'm fully moved in and uh yeah i will talk to you soon and good night